हेलो नमस्ते दिस इज अरुण फ्रॉम द ग्रीन चैनल Hi everyone hope you're all staying safe this is me your arun from the green channel welcome back to the green channel so as a part of our know your plant series so you might have already seen uh, the other videos which have been released and now as a part of that now we're coming up with a new plant so i hope you are liking this series uh, giving more information about a plant it's just not only knowing uh, what is a plant and how do we actually propagate and what care we take but we also talk about lot of medicinal values and other benefits that we get from the plant as i told last time so it is just not only the medicinal plants that we cover in this series we try to cover all different plants it, it can be a flower plant it can be an ornamental or it can be a medicinal which is herbal or it can be a normal vegetable plants also but as medicinal plants are more so probably the rest of the plants you might know more but these are a bit uh, slightly rare information that we try to gather and it is more useful so as a part of this video let's cover this plant today which is called coffee senna in english and if you talk about in telugu this is called chennangi or kasinda or kasavinda so these are the names that we have for this plant how do you identify this the first thing this one has a leaf which is like you can see the individual leaves coming like this like a curry leaf and but in a smaller in size and uh, light green is the color and you can see all the stems in red color red or you can say dark maroon so that's how the stems are all in in dark maroon it's not a big tree it's just a plant which will grow maximum up to 2 2 meters and this will be uh having a flower which is of um this size small in yellow so that's how it is uh, unfortunately i can't show you the flowers on the plant but i can show you an insect you uh, this flowers are all these flowers are also really beautiful so you can say this is this appears as an ornamental you can properly cut it in a in a shape and then you it will come like a a nice little bouquet if you can keep it in a nice pot and you can keep it as an ornamental and it can be used for lot of recipes to eat and then it has medicinal values so let's look at what can be done with this as a recipe so with these leaves you can actually make a chutney or you can use it in uh, the leaf dal um, the leaves like uh, the other ones that you use like <coughs> uh um, various other uh, leaf uh, leafy vegetable similarly we can use this as well for the dal and other than these just recipes you can actually make uh, sorry the uh, like a dal or chutneys you can even make powders and the extracts that you can take so the powders are basically that you can mix it in you can even use it in in various uh, other recipes this powder has that flavor and this itself like uh, you can directly mix it in the rice and have it so there are various ways that we can do it so don't worry we will make some different uh, videos for the recipes alone for this because this has wide variety of recipes we can make with this and it is tasty too um, and i we have already tasted it so that's why i'm telling you so this one is <clears throat> when i talk about the taste the first benefit that i should talk about is when someone suffers with uh, so the Uh, suffers from cold cough and fever definitely the taste buds are and that also they don't really like to have something you don't like to eat anything because you don't feel the good taste that's when this comes into picture you can make a chutney out of this and then give it to them those who are in this condition so they will at least feel like eating more and they like this and also they get that feel of eating back again so that's how this really helps such thing and when we talk about this in the ayurveda uh, that actually gives you uh, the heat so this generates heat um, that's why this will actually be uh, a treatment for um, va- vata and kapha so these are the two things if if you are in ayurveda or you know ayurveda you know it better so i don't want to explain anything more on that but definitely these two will be treated with this so it will reduce anything that actually the vata which is 
causing some problem for you or the kapha which actually the cough all of this it just not only regains your taste but also it will reduce your cough and the fever that you are suffering from so that's how this will be useful and then once you take it this will also act as a, a good uh, one for digesting uh, the digestive system will be good you will have no uh, digestive problems so generally you uh, if if you take keep eating various junk food and various other things there will be a lot of waste even in a regular day a uh, routine there will be a lot of waste generated internally so that clearing of that waste is a very important aspect of our body hygiene so that this one will help in actually cleaning lot of waste inside so your your digestive system will be working perfectly all right so that's on the eating part when you eat it you can even have the um, the the other very very much benefit on um, these things are you can see any single part of this plant is useful in some way or the other these leaves that we have talked about some recipes and you have these stems and uh, all of this can be actually made into powder you can actually dry them and then mix it with uh, the leaf stem and the root and the dried uh, seeds all of this you can actually dry it and then make it as a powder you apply honey to it and then apply on the skin diseases generally when you apply honey in ayurveda generally you you take it inside but i am talking about to apply externally on any skin disease like psoriasis or any other uh, skin diseases that one may have so apply with that uh, and then that will definitely reduce the skin diseases okay um, when we are talking about skin diseases so we see in lot of movies when somebody are there and like people who come from forests or uh, tribal or you you see in lot of movies they just go nearby find some plant and then just take an extract and put it on it if some poisonous things bite uh, within minutes or maybe within seconds people will just wake up and then yeah they feel really relaxed and they feel uh, treated so uh, that's generally sounds like an exaggeration but looking at all of this uh, last time also we we talked about another plant which is um uh, kamanchi uh, we talked about the black uh, black nightshade so that one also has the same uh, usage or the benefit the leaves extract you can actually apply on top of the place where it is actually you, uh, the bite uh, the poisonous insect bite so that will reduce or uh, that will actually uh, take out that uh, poison so the same uh, benefit that we have for this as well you can uh, you can take the extract of this and then apply on top of the place where the uh, bite happened so that's where it will take it actually it will reduce the pain and it will um, it will help cure that <clears throat> and and first of all this is another the biggest benefit that we have is so far the rest of all doesn't have and the speciality of this is a is a pain reliever it's not like you just take a tablet and within a few minutes it will go off but it definitely reduces the pain is one of the benefits that is shown in the books is uh, pain reliever uh, one thing to add on this uh, a bigger benefit which i say uh, with this leaves extract uh, is you can actually treat the paralysis as well if anyone has paralysis some of the parts which are um, affected by the paralysis then take the extract of the leaves and then add butter or the ghee to it uh, in some right proportion probably the if go with the a proper um, guidance from the ayurveda or any doctor prescribed but definitely i wanted to highlight the fact that this helps in even treating paralysis so which is so so wonderful to see that we have such powerful things in the nature and this one these leaves extract plus butter or a ghee in the right proportion and apply on on the uh, place where it is impacted so that will treat the paralysis so definitely i feel it is a boon for all of us to have these many plants around us in the in the nature so this is one of the benefits here and you can talk about the the other benefit with these seeds as we are talking about the coffee sina um, the name it suggests you dry these uh, seeds you can say so this is a uh, this is one like a, a lengthy one so you, if you open this you will have the seeds inside these seeds are like the small ones which will currently uh, they are like dark 
grey or something, it will become dark brown once it is completely dried. I will show you these uh, seeds separately. I will open this in, uh, in a closer view. Uh, and these seeds, you can dry them out and then make them powder. And that powder, you can literally use it as a coffee beans. So these are like coffee beans. And you can, you can make this powder, milk it, uh, add milk and then sugar and you can make coffee out of this. And that, I don't know how that looks, I've, I have to try this now. I'll tell you next time when I try the coffee out of this coffee, uh, these beans, uh, these seeds. Uh, and then it is just not only to have a coffee for a taste, but that clears a lot of urinary infections if you have any or it will actually uh, help you not to have any urinary infections. And then, and also purifies the blood. So it just not adds the taste and also adds the health to you. So you can try this. The it's it's very easy to grow, and you can just find it uh, anywhere in nearby parks where you have a lot of trees and all. You can just put it in any single pot, or you are putting it in any bigger one like a side. Here we you can see uh, there is a banana tree here, and we have just planted uh, the, some of the seeds that you just get from outside like this. And get those seeds if you are uh, having uh, these things with a completely dried one. They will automatically open to some extent. You can see them, the, it'll, the split open you can see, which means it's completely dried. You can see the seeds dark brown. Those are the ones which are more uh, good for the germination. You can take them and then plant. So it's nice to have, easy to grow, lot of benefits and you have good recipes too then what are you waiting for just get this the name of this is chanangi or coffee sena if you go and ask for coffee sena you don't get it so you probably if you are searching in uh, internet then yes if you are searching in amazon for a seeds yes you can but i don't think you need to buy these things in amazon you can just go out and you'll find these plants somewhere outside the road side side by or you can just uh, get into the park and there also you can see them Get these seeds, each one will have almost like 20, 30 seeds, uh, maybe at least 20, 25 seeds are there. At least a few of them will germinate. So get them, put it in two, three places and there is no separate soil that you need to maintain. It's just a general soil and it is known in Telangana especially. And uh, obviously the land here is a red soil. So the favorite soil for this is red soil and uh, fertilizers and any of the nutrients that you have to give. When you put it into the other part, obviously those will share. So you give a bit more so that this takes something and the actually the other plant also will take something else. If it is alone, give it some additional nutrients and you will get a better leaf and better product. So this is all about this Chanangi plant and I hope you like this video. It is useful, uh, plant is useful obviously. The, if you find this video uh, interesting, give a like and share it with your friends and family and then don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.